hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of uni of ife allegedly my people they said uh queen naomi and uh, prince tadenika will give uni of ife the best birthday gift ever so my people oh, rush to the comment section and type happy birthday to our king oh Oni of Ife is celebrating his 49th birthday today hmm no be smart thing no no be smart thing uh, my prayer for him is that he will live long he is going to get more wisdom and the god is going to give him solution to all these women that goes in his palace and he will receive peace abundant peace in the palace and above all he will settle with queen naomi and start bearing more beautiful children that is my prayer for the king so my people oh, waiting with the here right now is that uh, prince tadeni kawo and the ham um, and his mom the queen the, the queen of queens have surprised their husband and daddy so my people oh, we do know that as the king was about to celebrate his birthday you know he invited all and sundry including all his children and baby mamas and the uh, uh, concubines and everyone who needs to be present and all of that he also invited Queen Naomi and Prince Tadene Kao, saying that uh, his best wish is to that he is going to reunite with Queen Naomi and introduce all his children to others so that they will uh, know themselves and all of that. So my people, oh, as the celebration come, they go on. People have been asking, is Queen Naomi going to come? Is Prince Tadenika going to come? And all of that. Some people have been saying, no, it would be better if Queen uh, Prince Tadenika will come. Oh, Queen Naomi can go. After all, uh, the king is still her husband. Uh, not minding uh, Ashley, who is calling her husband snatcher and all of that. That she is a fake pastor. That she is uh, sleeping with another woman's husband and all of that. That is what we heard that Ashley called Queen Naomi. Forgetting that she is the one who snatched Oni of Ife from Queen Naomi. So, but that is by the way, my people. They said, as the king was celebrating his birthday, uh, he started yesterday night. Although today is the official day, being 17th. But they said the celebration started yesterday night. And most of, some of the Oloris who are not present, the people that started the event with the king was... Uh, Mariam, who is who always want to go about parading himself uh, herself uh, uh, then uh, the next person is um, dr elizabeth dr elizabeth and um, the so uh, we did not see ashley we did not see ron okay we did not see toby but i saw a message where uh, ashley you know was uh, making us believe that uh, the kind of love and joy that he she received from the king that this and that so then in all she wished the king happy birthday and all of that so a lot of people have been have been asking is queen Naomi not going to come did you see queen Naomi? did you not see queen Naomi and all of that but my people information reaching us right now is that queen Naomi and prince tadenika will have surprised the king big time we do know that a lot of cake came for that uh, uh, birthday from way wishers, from loved ones, and all of that. So they said, we know me who know exactly what the king wants because we do know that she he, she is the only one that have the key to the king's happiness. She knows the king more than all these other Oloris who have been claiming to have dated the king for ten to twenty years. So they said she organized a pretty and wonderful cake, and delivered it to the king and according to what they write in that cake it was happy birthday my daddy happy birthday daddy that means uh, it is coming from Tadene Kao that is to tell you that when Nomi knows how to do things because uh, she do know that Tade cannot think of doing anything at this point so whatever that she is doing she is uh, putting it as if uh, it's Tadene Kao who is doing it 
So they said, why the king received the cake? Eh? It was as if that cake is more than every other cake that arrived at venue. As in the way she he appreciated the cake from his son that day and the, the wife. Eh? They said the king was happy. If you look at him, you find out that the moment that particular cake arrived at the venue, that everything about him changed. You know, he 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 was so happy that at least so we know me that there has been. You know, make it pretending as if she's she doesn't care and all of that. So she still care this much because we do know that she care. But the only thing is that she is trying to play safe, you know. Because going back to the palace with all these uh, guys, ghost ladies in there is not going to be safe for her as well as Prince Tadeni Kawo. So they said the king was so happy on receiving that gift from Prince Tadeni Kawo and Queen Naomi. You know that that cake was so special as a special one and if you look at the cake you will see that it, there is a very different between that particular cake and uh, the rest of the cake that uh, uh, they ordered for that bit day you know and i know that the oloris they will not like it hey they will not like it oh if the king will have cut that one to share everybody i'm sure i'm sure that uh, the oloris will not eat from that cake so but that well, but whether they eat from the cake or not it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter to me what matters is that the king who whom they gave the cake receive it with a good heart and he is so happy about it so my people oh, they said they surprised the king as in the cake was kind of a very big surprise to them to the king sorry and i know it's also a shock to some of these oloris who we are wishing that uh, nothing comes from the uh, from queen naomi to the king so that he will know that uh, they love him more than queen naomi or that queen naomi have rejected him entirely let me tell you whether queen naomi present any gift to the king that day or not but we should we know that she did but even if she did not uh, do that the king will still be going after her even after that birthday no matter what all these other oloris presented the key to the king as a birthday gift or no matter how they try to make it look like they care of which we don't we do know that uh, some of them don't care because if you can be giving a man glass every now and then making him not to enjoy peace of mind it simply means that you don't care about him because when you care about someone you will be eager to make that happen that person happy you know to see that anything that will make him uh, not to be happy you will avoid it you see but these women they don't give a damn they don't care all they care is uh, how they will become the Yolua, how others will live so that they will stay how the king will forget everything that concerns Kwenami and all of that but my people know uh, all I know is that they are just wasting their time. In due time, Kwenami will return back to the palace and take over her position in the palace. So my people on us, so we hear them. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are returning to subscribe, thank you so much for your support. Bye for now. Love you guys.